Oh, 
most high yes you are the Lord yeah. most high yes you are the Lord yes you are the Lord. you are capacity 
by the will of God. Because the Bible says salvation has appeared unto all men. It's left for you and I to take a hold of it. And the Bible says that we should, we should guard our salvation with fear and what? Trembling. So, once saved, always saved is not, is not the issue. We have to daily examine ourselves. Either we still be, we're still in the faith. If we're walking according to the dictates of God, by the Spirit of God, or have we shifted to our own mind and our own understanding? And from what I know, the Bible says, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. Are you acknowledging the Lord and his precepts? Or have you chosen your own path, your own will, your own idea of the way things should run? It's not about you. It's about what the Lord wants. It is time we all have this understanding. We are not in competition with God. God is not in competition with us. It is his will or no will. It is either his way or the highway. The way of holiness, the way to God is where he has dictated, where he has told us in his word. It does not matter what you think, your thoughts of man, the, 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 the doctrines of men, the culture of man has nothing to do with God. It has nothing to do with God. Your own understanding, your will, it has nothing to do with the will of God. Are you in the will, the perfect will or the permissible will of God? Are you doing things because you, you're acting under what, you know, life has dealt to you Also, you're going to do it back? Or this, or this is the situation and so this is the way that is logically, logically you incline to because of your perception or because of the perception of the people around you? The thoughts of your father and your mother does not count when it comes to God. You have to be in the will of God. Your husband, your wife, it's not the issue. Your friends, oh, what the majority is doing. No, brethren. The call is coming out again tonight. Or wherever, or whatever time you are. The sounds are coming all over the world. You can hear it if you are listening. If you are listening, the angels have been, have been dispersed. Brethren, this is critical and this is serious. They are already in town. They are already <laughs> trying to get people into that vehicle. I don't know if it's a bus, if it's a, a, a plane, if it's a boat. I don't know if it's going to be a, 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 a plane, a, a spaceship. Whatever the form of this rapture is going to take place, are you ready? Are you ready to go with the Lord? The Bible says it's going to come, it's going to appear like a thief in the night. Are you ready? Jesus is coming soon. Brethren, are we ready? Ah, Are we ready? Have you examined yourself? Have you checked your goods? Are there contraband in your goods? Or are you clean when you're going to pass through the immigration quarters of heaven? Hmm. Are they going to meet contraband in your luggage? Do you have anything that you're not supposed to have in yourself? Malice, bitterness, envy, backbiting, stealing, fornication, all manner of adultery. Are you ready? Are you doing the works of God? Are you doing the will of God? Are you propagating the, 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 the mastery of our Lord? Or are you bringing, are you tearing down the kingdom? Are you sowing discord among brethren? It's not only when you talk about sister and brother blood. We are joined with, by the blood of Jesus Christ. That ought to even make us more sister and brother than even your co-siblings. Are you sowing discord among the church? Are you building up with Christ? Or are you pulling down? All these issues, 
the politics, the 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 culture that we have, we have the traditions of men, the things that we have concocted for ourselves, the doctrines that we have laid. It has nothing to do with God. It has nothing to do with Christ being crucified. Yeah, it has definitely has nothing to do with His coming back again. It doesn't matter what your pastor is teaching you. Is it according to the will of God? I will shift it from the focus. The focus right now is heaven coming to take his own home. Every other thing, marital issues, uh, this one and that one, uh, finance, no. When the altar, when the altar becomes a center for any other thing, but the propagation of the gospel, the true gospel of God, the fact that Jesus Christ is coming soon, any other thing is illegal. He says, for Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. The Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord. And a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Are you such? Are you such or are you a shame and a reproach to God? Are you bringing? Are you allowing the enemies of God to mock God through you? Am I, you and I, are we at our lifestyle? Is it allowing the enemies of God to mock God? Uh -huh. so see, that, see the people you died for. See the people you died for. See what they are doing. See what they are wearing. See how they are conducting themselves. See how they are talking. Praise the Lord. That is in an addendum. I mean, uh, just as I was about to start, the Lord reminded me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is a clarion call. It's a call for us to find our way back to God. If, if we have to to find our way back to God. There's urgency in on this matter. Let everybody clean house. Let everybody clean house. Let everybody get in shape. Let everybody clear every dirt out of their system, out of their bodies. Know ye not that your temple, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Ah, don't let us be to, 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 be, to be judged and destroyed. God will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So today we'll be talking about the word discouragement. I know <clears throat> it's almost as if uh, what she's saying, oh, after load, downloading this kind of message, it's a message from the Lord. And it's, I've said it, let everybody get themselves, let us all work. Let us empty ourselves of all the things that God hates and let us adorn, let us be filled with the Holy Ghost. Even at this time, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, let's pray. If there's anybody that you want to either rededicate your life to Christ or you want to <clears throat> give your life to Christ, repeat after me. Father Lord, I come to you today I ask, oh God, that you forgive me of all my sins. Lord, cleanse me, cleanse me. I repent, oh God, of all my sins, my unrighteousness, my iniquity. Lord, God Almighty, I pray that you forgive me. Please forgive me, Lord. I receive you, oh God, today and forever as Lord. I make you my Lord Jesus, save me. Savior, save me from myself, from my sins, from the past, 
from my ancestral lineage, from everything that brings me down every time I want to rise up. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, come into my life. Come into my life afresh. I cannot do this without you. Help me to live and please God all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your people who have humbled themselves and prayed as you have requested us to do. Lord, we are proposing to turn away from our wicked ways. Ah, Father, hear us from heaven and forgive us in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Cleanse us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Inside out, oh God, cleanse us. And write our names, oh God, in the book of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, God Almighty, be merciful unto us, oh God, and help us to live to please you all the days of our lives. Uphold us with your right hand, right hand. Do not let us fall aside. Teach us and guide us by your Spirit, oh God, Holy Spirit of God, to where and how we need to learn of you, of learn of God. Learn of Jesus that we might follow in his footsteps all the days of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you said those prayers, the Lord has heard. Please look for a Bible believing church. Pray. I pray that God will direct you to one that would that will feed you and not choke you. To one that will feed you and not confuse you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. receive the grace to find the right atmosphere to worship God so that we will we'll all be joint heirs and make heaven at the end of the day of our journey. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as I said, tonight we'll be talking about discouragement. Discouragement makes a believer's faith to fail. What is discouragement? Discouragement is when, <clears throat> if you look at it, we'll break it, this, D-I-S, and then courage. That means lack of courage. Not to have courage. You know, this, this discouragement small sometimes is a, is, a, is a point of hopelessness. When people have lost their zeal, their, you know, their their air to, to bounce. Things are not looking well. You know, things just turned around and the person is downcast. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says when there is a, 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 a downcast, we will say there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Discouragement makes the believer to lose faith. Once that happens, the believer will move into the wilderness or to the cave. Wilderness is, is like you just want to be alone in a dry place. You are not happy. You are stuck in that place. And when someone stays there for a, a while, very soon you will leave the wilderness and you go and hide in a cave where there's no light and where there's no freshness. There's this way... You cut yourself off from so much. And from there, you see many people have mental breakdowns. Different things begin to happen because the enemy takes a hold of that person and infiltrates such life. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Instead, we are supposed, you and I are supposed to be on the mountain top. This will be our lot in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. This will be our lot in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have to keep discouragement out of our lives. And God will help us and empower us in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a wonderful thing to go through the journey of life with God as your companion, as your pace setter, as your pathfinder. When God goes with you during a pilgrimage, there is assurance of your journey, that your journey will end in a pleasant note, in a pleasant place. But most of us, because of one thing or the other, 
Even when we have been hearing from God. And this has nothing to do with, oh, you're a prayer warrior. Oh, you're this. You're a champion of God. No. Even the best go through this. So we're not alone. Discouragement is common to all. But how do you process and how do you handle it? Do you take your discouragement and go back to God? I remember the story of David. The Bible says after they took his wife, when he returned back from, from, from the war front, and he went and he got home. Because in that, that war front, gone, he shouldn't have gone. But hey, he went. And then he came back and they had carried all his things at Ziegler. They don't take everything, his wives, his children, and all the other men. And in fact, the Bible says that all the other men, they were so discouraged. They wanted to stone David. They wanted to kill him for, you know, because they left their homes undefended. So, and then, of course, it's David, they, are, they are always following. So everyone is looking for someone to blame. When he said, let's go, why did they still say, we're not going? But they got back, everything was gone. Gone. And then they cried and wept and wept till they were dead. The Bible says it got to a point there was no there was no more tear in their eyes. Grown men, no more tears. And the Bible says what? <clears throat> and David encouraged himself in the Lord. At that point, when they were discouraged and down and out, they were crying. They were, you know, they felt like stoning. You can imagine discouragement can lead one to do what one will never do. Imagine the men, the valiant men, wanting to stone David to death. Maybe that time if there had been guns, they would have just shot him. But they were that discouraged. They could not see any light. They could not see any hope. They, it was not possible. These people, these people that came from to, to carry their, they were valiant, wicked people. Maybe they've even done and killed, and they just did not think it was possible to get their family back. And that's what happens when we're discouraged. May someone tonight receive the energy of God to bounce back from every form of discouragement that the enemy has brought into your heart. May that discouragement be, be cast out of you in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Oh, there's something, there's a target that you're trying to meet. There's something that you want to do, but it seems like there's no way. You have tried, you have gone up and down. Until it's okay, so no, but serial, huh? God will show up for you and I. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. It got to a point that they, they just felt that it was not possible. You know, when you get to a point where you think, ah, ah, this thing cannot be reversed anymore. It is all done. It is set. Jesus Christ. There's hope for you and I in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And no matter how long it has been the situation, God will arise for you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And David, the Bible says, ah, at that point he could not hear God. Ah, can you pass it Everything that has blocked your heart from hearing and perceiving God may be dispersed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. It just wants us to lose focus from God. That is the only place where our help comes from. May we never be disconnected from God in the name of Jesus Christ. Not even in the world that we live in, there's discouragement everywhere. Take hold, take care of your heart. For out of it flows the issues of life. And David could not hear God. The man that wrote Psalms, that every point he is receiving messages from God. All the Psalms and all the, uh, the, the scriptures, they are written because he could hear from God. And that was the source of his power. That was the source of his valiancy. That was the source of his confidence. Huh? May the confidence of God come back into our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. May we hear him audibly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every discouragement. We bind and cast you out. In the name of Jesus Christ. We cast you to the abyss. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
He couldn't hear from God. Imagine being cut off from God, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to do. He's a valiant man. He's a man of war. He fights wars. He needs strategies from God. How do you think Solomon was the wisest person? Because he could hear from God. Discouragement. And that was what happened to the latter end of Solomon. He could not hear anymore. And that's why he said, but vanity upon vanity. May that not be your state of mind state. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, say amen. Amen. Hey, amen. 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 Discouragement is a terrible thing, though. And the Bible says, David encouraged himself in the Lord. May you find the courage of God right now in the name of Jesus Christ. May God himself encourage you in him in the name of Jesus Christ. May God encourage you and I in him in the name of Jesus Christ. May we be strengthened with might in our inner man in the name of Jesus Christ. May we receive the strength of God in our inner man in the name of Jesus Christ. That we might do valiantly for God again in the name of Jesus Christ. May we rise from that place and move to our mountain top in the name of Jesus Christ. The valley is not where you're meant to be. Downcast wilderness cave is not your plot, is not your place. Arise, child of God, and move to your mountain top where you begin to rule and reign in the name of Jesus Christ. And David encouraged himself in the Lord. He did what? He encouraged himself in the Lord. That's like, oh, okay, just, just, just right. Okay, Lord, God. And then he inquired from God. Because at that point, he could not, he's someone that had direct access to God before. He now needed to inquire. He knew that that was what was missing. That he needed to hear the voice of God. May you and I hear the voice of God. Hey, the voice that is clear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not in dark speeches, not in parables or similitudes, but may God show us exactly what we need to do to come out of that situation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He had called himself in the Lord. And he said, he inquired of God. He said, bring the mystery. I mean, if you remember too, Elijah, it was asked for what? They were always asked, let somebody come and play on this street. That's why it's sad these days when you see gospel ministers in song, when they sing anyhow, may the Lord have mercy and forgive us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The music ministry is such an important one. And that's why the enemy is bastardizing that area. May the Lord re- cause his hand to come upon the music artists and may, uh, ministers of God. And may, may, may good songs of God begin to come out again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Songs that will make you hear God. Songs that will elate your heart and connect you. Not just songs that will that just for you to, 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 to excite yourself. But songs that bring God in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So he inquired of the Lord. And he said. Shall I pursue this troop? A troop. And back then those troops. They were, they were no nonsense troops. He said shall I pursue. I'm speaking to you, child of God. Ask God, shall you pursue after this trip? Will I overtake? God, tell me. He was seeking God, even though in that distressed state. You and I need to come to that place, no matter how down. Ask God, Lord, help me. What would you have me do? Lord, direct me, even at this time. Help me. Speak to me. Teach me the strategy. Help me to be intentional. What would you have me do? I don't just want to be beating the air like one that does not. No. Let my movement be strategic and intentional. So that 
when I hit, it will hit where it ought to. And I will not waste energy on anyhow. That will be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Bible says, the Lord said what? You shall what? Pursue after this truth. You will overtake. And without fail, you will recover all. You and I will recover all without fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And what happened? He pursued. He overtook. And he recovered all. Nothing was missing. That would be our passion in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Brother and sister in Christ. Whatever you are. Wherever you are right now. Arise from your point of discouragement and downcast. Arise in God. And know looking unto Jesus Christ. The author and the finisher of your faith. Of our faith, he will show up for you. You will not be ashamed in the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. The Bible says that he has not called the house of Jacob to seek him in vain. When he have come, he would know why he's cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God knows the end from the beginning, He understands everything about your life, He knows. What he is doing in your life. There are times yet. It's God that is bringing some things around. So that to, to shape and strengthen you and I. But we pray like his word says. He will make a way of escape. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I mean, I know we're as, as, as many as our faces are so that, so our needs, our issues differ. But God is God. And he's an intervener. He's a solution bringer. He's a source. He's the, he's, he's the lifter of our hands. You know, when you keep hearing, you see that, that scripture everywhere. He's a, he will lift our heads, even from every point of discouragement and and. And, and hopeless situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He's the one that makes way where there seems to be no way. In fact, the Bible says he is the way. And he will show up for you and I and make a way for us in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. No matter how much they've done, no matter how much it seems as if this is just it, there's God will arise for your sake, for my sake, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Every discouragement you are going through right now, every downcast situation, the Lord God Almighty himself, the faithful Jehovah, will arise for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will arise for my sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He will arise for our sakes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please do not be discouraged. Hold on to God. He will come and save us. He will show up for our cases in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No matter how long, how many years it's been, are you looking for the fruit of the womb? Receive your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you need to pay bills? Receive help from heaven. God has done it before. He will do it again. God is never tired of you. Call on him and he will hear you. He will answer you. He will bring you out of every valley situation, of every wilderness, of every cave. And you will shine forth on mountain top in the name of Jesus Christ. I see you arising. I see you shining upon the mountain top of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name you, we pray. You will sing your song and dance your dance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. God will show up for us. God will show up. God will show up. God will show up. Do not be discouraged. Even if look for someone, pray. Our, our, our email, contact us. Shoot us an email. We will try and get in touch with you. What is it that you are in need of? God is able to meet you at the point of your need. 
God will help in the name of Jesus. And his name, his name alone will be glorified. You will not be ashamed. That thing that seems as if ha, shame is imminent. God will remove it in the name of Jesus. Instead of shame, and you will have honor, double honor for your shame. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. My Father in heaven, by your mercy, lead me through the journey of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray that God, oh Lord, you will lead us through this journey of mercy of life. By your mercy, by your mercy. Lord, we cry for your mercy. The mercy of God. Lord, the mercy that rules over judgment. Anulator of all Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak, oh God, for each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, by your mercy. Oh Lord, by your mercy. Be my companion, pace yeah. setter, and pathfinder in the journey of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my God. Be my companion. Be my pace setter. Be my pathfinder. Find a way for me, oh God. Out of every wilderness, out of every forest, out of every thick cloud. Find, help me find my way. Lead, hold me by the hand. And lead me out of every discouragement. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Holy, Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, my companion and friend, my companion by, your mercy, by your mercy, do not depart from me. Ha. Hey, hey. Yeah. Holy Spirit of God, do not depart from us. Oh, do not depart from me. Holy Spirit, I need you to guide me, to teach me. Lord, hold me by the hand. Lead me, lead me, direct me. Yeah. Let me hear you all deeply. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh, let us just cry for mercy this night. Lord, we cry for mercy, 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 oh God. We cry for your mercy, mercy that pities. Oh, Lord, and compassion. Lord, you said you have mercy on who you have mercy on. And you have compassion on who you have compassion. It's not of he that we are, he that run it, but God has showed mercy. Lord, we need your mercy. Mercy that rules over judgment. Mercy that liberates. Mercy that sets apart. Mercy that protects. Mercy that delivers. Mercy that provides. Oh, God of mercy. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on the nations, oh God. Lord, we bring Nigeria before you. Lord, have mercy on Nigeria, oh God. Have mercy on all the nations that are under the weight of oppression. Let your mercy speak, oh God. In our lives, in our families, in our homes, in our schools, in our jobs. Oh, Lord of God of mercy. We cry for mercy. Mercy, oh God. Let your mercy speak. Let your mercy pick us up. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, with your holy arm. Oh Lord, with your holy arm. Uphold me. Uphold me. And, and help me overcome the challenges of life. Help me overcome, help me overcome the challenges of life. Help us to overcome the challenges. Everything that we're going through right now. In all the nations. Holy Spirit, help us, so oh God. Help us to overcome the challenges of life. Oh Lord, feeding, clothing, shoes, all things that we need. Shelter, houses, bills, ah, education, academics to learn, to understand, to live, to, to, to prosper. Lord, to thrive. Jehovah, help us, so oh God, to overcome the challenges of life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Enemies of my life's journey. 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 Receive the thunder fire of God and die in the name of Jesus Christ. Mark has said, take care of us at all. Receive the thunder fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us take care of us at all. Let us take care of us Leke teke limo momo mozata ina mazote yelebo. La kasite ike teke limo momo shikata. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, today is the first of uh, March. Happy new month. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we're going to be anointing ourselves. Please bring your anointing on. And we pray over it. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for... This time we pray, Lord, even as this oil will touch us, that Lord, you will anoint us by yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we pray that this will be a sign. 
will be the mark of God upon us as the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, for protection and for lifting and for kingship in the name of Jesus Christ. For promotion, O oh God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus, you can anoint yourself in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, O oh God. We worship you. We worship you, you are God. You are worthy to be praised. We worship you, our God. You.